So it turns out that video went missing somehow, so I'll just go ahead and re-record the three scent shots here, two of which are the exact same scent, so I guess I'll go ahead and start from the beginning. This is my Teddy Beeswax Co. order. Um, I bought these scent shots. I go further into depth than to it um, in the later half of this video, I guess. Um, but anyway, here's churro cakes. This is um, cinnamon sugar, um, funnel cakes, and buttercream icing. To me, it reads more like a powdered sugar than buttercream icing. This is my favorite scent from my order, and I'm definitely glad I got two. And then we have lavender honeydew. And again, these are all my pour dates. I poured, or not poured them, I wrote them on there. Lavender honeydew. Very relaxing, sweet lavender, um, and just a very nice honeydew. I personally like honeydew, and I like cucumber and wax. Um, I don't think I'd like lavender, cucumber melon or anything, but this is a very nice blend, very refreshing. Um, this would be perfect for like a nice spa day, doing face masks and everything. So that was this first part, and I'm just gonna like clip the videos together. I don't know how it's gonna work or how it's gonna look. So sorry <laughs> if it doesn't look great, but. This is, <clears throat> pardon me, um, this is just my options at the moment, so. Okay, so I'm just, so I'm just going to have to learn how to splice the videos together, I guess, but banana spice is what, um, banana bunt cake wishes it could be. Less cinnamon, more of that banana, um, and more bakery. I definitely prefer that over the Bath and Body Works. Lavender orange sherbet, this one's really good. This one, um, that lavender is a lot less than the orange that's in there, which I found pretty surprising. I was expecting it to be, um, a lot more lavender than orange, but it is still a very nice blend. Mm, y'all, Sasha, really, this is amazing. Blankets by the Bonfire. This one, you, I definitely at least pick up on that, uh, white tea note, um, to me, that's the perfect transition scent from um, wanting to get into fall scents slowly for seasonal burners and melters. Um, I feel like that would be really great um, around like September, um, October time frame. Coachella. I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible. No dig at anyone who loves the scent or the vendor or anything. This isn't mean to the vendor or nothing. This smells like dirty mop water, honestly. Yeah, no. Not for me. So, that's Coachella. Reminisce it has a long scent note description, but I believe that the main one I'm picking up is mm, that nice shaving cream. It's more like barbershop shaving cream than clean shave, or shave and haircut, rather. Tiff's favorite lavender. If you love this one, now I was talking to, with Sasha about this, and she says it's pretty similar to Zapes. Um, Lavender coconut milk, but to me this is like dead on for um, Midnight Daydream Wax Co's uh, Lavender Marshmallow. So that was kind of disappointing. Not the scent itself, but to have like a duplicate. Brown sugar waffle cone. This one just says it was brown sugar waffle cones and a hint of blueberry. I say it's about 50-50 in terms of the berryness with the waffle cone note. And that was my order. Um, now I'll get into the samples. I was just going to do this and leave it there. I have five samples, so if it cuts off, I'm not going to film another video with just the samples. But anyway, we got another one of Reminisce. We have Blackberry Butter Pecan Cookies, which I believe is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. To me, this is a perfect blend of the two. Um, it's about a 70 Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, 30 Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, to my nose at least. I feel like any more Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. Um, sorry if I'm talking fast, but I need to do this before it, you know, shuts off on me again. Um, it wouldn't be as nice, um, if it had more. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, which is, um, lime margarita, extra lime note, and then, um, fizzy champagne. Um, my mom really liked that one as well. Um, I like it too, but it kind of has a weird vibe going on, like an undertone to it. But I am still going to melt that one and find out what I think. The Perfect Storm. I do not like this one. Um, I could try blending it with maybe Reminisce or another shaving cream scent to see if it would tone it down. I feel like blue sugar shaving cream would really help it, but I don't have any blue sugar on me at the moment. And lastly, we have Lovely. I don't remember the exact scent note description for this. I'm sorry, but I will say 
to me it smells like a fruity floral um like this is something bath and body works come out with honestly i feel like in body care and that was my teddy beeswax coat order um just remember when you buy four scent shots you get your fifth one free um, which is like 20 percent off you buy 10 of them and after shipping for me it ended up being 20 dollar or like a 20 dollar order and i feel like that's really good to just try a new vendor out especially after shipping you know you get to try like a good 10 different scents or in my case nine because i got duplicates um, she is very generous with her samples, <clears throat> pardon me, um, she's just very, I like it when vendors have good customer service, I really do, I appreciate it, because I know some vendors out there, and I'm not going to name any names, but people know who they are, honestly, I mean, and Sasha's been saying it, I mean, some vendors are just getting too comfortable in their groups, and I'm not saying you can't get comfortable, be friendly with people, make friends out of your business, I'm just saying, you know, I'm not going to go there, but I will, you know what, I am, real quick. Some vendors get too comfortable to the point where they choose their friend's side over another customer side. Now, that's wrong. They're both customers with different opinions. Just because someone doesn't like something doesn't mean that they're invalid in feeling what they feel about their wax. I mean, it might just not, it might just be their home, might be their warmer, it could be anything. It does not give you a right to pick a side like that. That's childish and trash. <clears throat> Pardon me childish and trashy so that was that little tangent and I'm not just talking about one vendor I'm talking about a few different vendors um but they're not worth discussing but I getting back to my point I do appreciate vendors that have excellent customer service and even who would just consider changing things up um I didn't talk to her much about the set description I feel like that would be nice to have is maybe like another little label on like it'd be perfect real estate to use like the bottom of your set shots to just put like um a pour date here or a scent description here and put the pour date um, up here like make your label bigger to fit the whole thing I don't know um, there's a few different ways it could go about or you have all of this prime area to put everything but anyway for at least the scent shots um, so yeah that's my haul um, I haven't melted anything quite yet after this is done I'm gonna be chopping all these lovelies up and then <clears throat> pardon me again I have some candles I'm going to be chopping up too, so, um, yeah, that's that. So, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you've ever ordered from this company before. Um, I'm really excited to dig into my stuff, except for that Coachella. Ugh, I'm not even going to try that one, honestly. But that's no dig at the vendor. It's just the type of lavender it comes across is that fabuloso lavender. And those other notes just make it smell like dirty mop water. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just what it smells like to me and my nose, and I don't want that going in my house because me and Fabuloso Lavender do not agree. I can do just about any other lavender but Fabuloso. So, anyway, I guess we'll go ahead and put our business card here. Um, that's all I have to say. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the video off here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.